At first glance, it's pastoral, even peaceful, but that impression is soon punctured by the sound of distant gunfire. The various memorial sites that dot the landscape serve as keen reminders that this area is anything but tranquil. In the last decade, Israel's border with Gaza has seen more military operations than any other front. Over 200 Israelis have been killed by Palestinian violence in the last decade. 67 of those were IDF soldiers over this border here in the 2014 Israel-Gaza war. Many who live here are all too familiar with that loss. And the cost of those military operations remains present. Someone well acquainted with the violence is former officer in the paratroopers brigade and current chief security officer of the Shara Negev Regional Council, Eyal Khajbi. I served in the army for over 20 years. I lost two of my soldiers in Israel's wars. Here we stand now at a memorial site. But beyond the chimes, we are reminded of the loss we suffered by the enemy over the border, beyond the site. But this border is far more than a conflict zone. The wide open landscape attracts residents and visitors all the way up to the border itself. The area is beautiful, no city noise, but often that quiet is interrupted with rocket sirens and explosions. And almost everywhere you look, whether it's nestled into a playground or a picnic area, are the scars of war. Within a one mile radius, dozens of soldiers are memorialized. If we go down this path along the border, we have here the site of Asaf Siboni, who died in a helicopter disaster in 97. Then you continue down the memorial site, and there's a lookout point in memory of Nabiya Mere, the former deputy commander of the Gaza region. And then, of course, at the Black Arrow for the combat soldiers from the paratroopers brigade who fell. Some say that these sites serve to keep wounds open more than heal them. But these memorials do more than mark the loss of young men and women. In our minds, these sites are part of what allows life to continue here. People come here and they see and understand. We need to choose life, but we need to remember those who have fallen. There is no question that these sites leave scars along the way when you leave friends and soldiers. And yes, it's not simple. The memorial is serving as a tragic reminder of the cost of war, lives taken too soon, and also a celebration of the sacrifice to keep Israel safe. Daniel Tzemach, I-24 News.